Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, Session 42, Part 2. It's the 8th of April, I think, still 2020, and it is a the player's turn after me, Ryan, the GM. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird. <laughs> Sean, Bastille, Warforged, uh, Forged. <laughs> I'm Scott, I'm playing Crumbar, half Orc Pal. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a Wood Elf Rogue. And hi, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a Half Elf Monk. Perfect. I am losing some of the audio, but I got pretty much 90% of that, so that's fine. And if people have been listening, they should know who everybody is by now. If they don't, I mean, well, just guess. So. I do I'm the fun one. That's debatable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Sophie, you've missed many yeah, attempts at Scott cool. GMing. <laughs> oh, I don't, no. I don't, I don't GM. I know you don't. Stay in your lane. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in your lane, mama. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kitty, for your benefit as well, goals wise, um, we have get word to GGW about Gil. We've got to figure out how to close mm -hmm. hellholes as a team safely, get to forge safely get the dwarves to help the citadel and then the new goal depart for the frost ranges which is the mm. go once she's closed the forge chapter the hope is to get on again uh, anything you'd like to debate change or adjust no that looks good to me good so speaking of which you were all staring at a big door a big solid door which is the entrance into the the Undermarch, guarded by obviously Dwarven guards, and I'll let you guys as a group catch Kitty up. Go. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was So we that. went to the big floaty guy, and um, we still have our horses with us because we decided we're going to take them. And the big floaty guy told us that, uh, that this guy's going to. Lead us through the <laughs> marsh marches. Mm -hmm. That one. Oh, no other way. He knows the way. <laughs> oh, that explains the, the gift yep. then. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> like it's kind of like session notes, right? The gifts. So. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's like, it all makes sense a little bit now. Yeah. <laughs> Interpretive dance notes. Also, the Hulkbuster oh, yeah, versus. Of course, uh, he and Crumbar had a bit of a. Yeah, Crumbar hit him. Or try to. I may or may not have uh, an axe in this thing to be said. Hence Hulkbuster and okay. Hulk. Yeah. So. And yep. that explains the Dragon Ball Z meme. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Deflected <laughs> right off. <laughs> Sounds yeah. about right. Hey. Yeah, Kitty also threw a shade. <laughs> it's not just. Well, to be honest, like... I think Rumbar got his ass beat when he first tried to to hit Eric. Right? He got a. Right. No, I've I've nearly killed Eric. Yeah, like in the. Oh my bad. Then I'm remembering wrong. Then sorry. Yeah, it was quite. It was potentially quite. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, it was when Eric uh, Thunderbolt with me that I nearly. Yeah, that was in yeah, combat that, that one, and in the mm -hmm. Golden Citadel when you were in like the training room. Uh, yeah. That's when Crumbar like nearly wiped the floor with him. Because mm. I think there was miscommunication where Eric thought you were pulling punches and Crumper got angry. A little bit. So uh, ah. that's kind of how that translated, quite frankly. Um, uh, I'm also okay. not meaning to rhyme, it just is happening. So we'll just have to deal with that too. Uh, but yeah, so Kitty, you're pretty much caught up. Um, would you have bought any supplies for the potential several day trip under the ground through dangerous mine type? have any things considering you've got a horse to feed as well and water um well i've got uh quite a few rations so i think i would have been okay like i don't think i can actually carry much more mm -hmm. your horse can though this is true and um, you might need some water um yeah water may be a good idea because we don't have the everlasting supply now yeah remember he oh, got rid of the jug I've, I've, yeah uh, I've got five water skins on the horse. Right, that should be okay. I've got a barrel as well, so. Uh, yeah, I guess like yeah, the barrel should be decent enough for uh, the majority of you guys to have a supply at least. 
Yeah. Uh, right, anything you want to do in Anvil before you head into the Undermarch then? No. Um, no. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so you head up to the, the doorway, right? And use also if you're getting any like, additional noises, that's because there's additional noises on my side. And <laughs> uh, as you head up through towards the big stone doors, obviously the guards expect to stop you and turn you away because you are all all of you non-dwarves, as is tradition mm -hmm. with the dwarven chapter of the game. I mean, it'd been so easy if we just had a uh, Shan play like a dwarven noble. Uh, character and just be like, oh, by the way, I'll just I'll just wave these through. It's fine. Um, yeah. But I like what we've built way better than the solving the immediate problem, which a lot of people fall into when making. Oh yeah, new I'm characters. like a collage of a dwarven noble without being one. <laughs> I like the use of the word collage to describe that. Um, mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. But yeah, so. Try to think if there's anything really that would come up from a political point of view, other than they would ask to see your papers and shit like that when you've got there. Uh, mm. Obviously, because these aren't dwarves, and non-dwarves <laughs> don't usually get permission to go through. Uh, I think it's Crumbar that has the actual permission slip, as it were, <laughs> to get through. I was wondering if they had to check our papers that we check we weren't dwarves. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, no, we are most definitely not wall. See, to be fair, right? It's hard to tell who's who, right? It can be very hard to tell. <laughs> uh, but no, it's a uh, not that case of that. What you need to do is you get up there, you show off the papers, Crumbar. Assumingly, you don't start anything. No. <laughs> Good, and uh, you. They, take the papers. they all look you up and down because a bunch of the uh, the dwarven guards they are kind of like you can clearly see they were discussing stuff on duty etc. They they eye you up and down, especially the fact that you're a giant golden beacon of plate mail. Um, mm. And then they kind of look over the group and they see obviously the, the chest plate, the big gold chest plate of a uh, Arya, and they see every single item on Kitty uh, <laughs> that's gold plated <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> They're like whispering among themselves. Uh, does anybody speak dwarven here that's um, likely to pick up on whispers? Because I feel like Crumbar's probably at the head of the. the uh, I, uh, I, I do speak dwarven. dwarven, and I've got a high perception. Yeah. You speak dwarven. Uh huh. Oh, nice. Maybe dwarves. Yeah. I oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, is that pretty much everybody but Arya then, I think, in that list? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't speak dwarven. Okay, cool. Uh, so those of you that can understand it, um, you hear them muttering about these must be the paladins from the Golden Order. Mm -hmm. There's there's talk of demons on the horizon, and that's pretty much it, really. That's that's the the yeah, mutterings that they have. That's who we are. Yeah. So like Cranberry, you got up there. You've got your papers in hand, and a uh, the. Completely Norse and in no way Scottish dwarves. Address and go. <laughs> well, state your business. We're here to get passage through to Forge. We um, have these like, papers. Two of the guards us. just like look at each other with a qu the, the quickest like side glance to each other, as if this confirms our worry, and then look at you again. <laughs> then, uh, so. I'll just kind of hand them over the uh, the envelope and just like. This confirms uh, our right to passage. Have you been in the Undermarch before? No, we have not. I hear it's exciting. We have a guide, though. And he kind of like uh. looks at the group <coughs> and he kind of like angles himself so he can see down the line of you. And he's like, uh, okay. Ain't no dwarven guide, I see. Uh, I'll, I'll pull my hood down from my cloak and I'll say come now friend it is their destiny and I'll cast resistance on myself again in an arcane display okay a bunch of the guards like get jittery and like point like their halberds and stuff at you um, as like an automatic reaction to like anything happening out yeah. unexpectedly it's like mm -hmm. 
destiny or whatever, just, you know, don't wander about. And then he, he waves you through. And then like the big stone doors just like get pulled pat like pulled back and you hear the like, the scraping noises as a uh, the kind of mechanisms behind the scenes open the the door and there's, there's like a wave of cold air that hits you guys um, as the door opens um, clearly like the ambient temperatures within the mountain keep them warm in anvil uh, and the door scrapes open and he's all head in I assume uh, obviously right. there is no lighting in the Undermarch uh, it's all dark the warfart the warfarts have dark vision uh, not normally, but I've got uh, goggles of night vision installed into my head. <laughs> oh, well, there, we, there we go then. <laughs> mm -hmm. No need for cortez. Um But yeah, if anybody wants colour in their vision, you still want torches at some point, but I don't think that's going to be too big a... Is there really <laughs> much colour the in the Every single mind? puzzle... The red button. I was going to say, yeah, every, every puzzle of design is colour based, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, oh, well... <laughs> Yeah, like I've done anything with that. Um, yeah, so he's heading, and let me just, I guess, transition us to like a different map. Um, hey, there's a ooh, thing. graphics. I know, right? I'm, mm -hmm. Imagine that. Imagine having some level of effort done in this game. And uh, yeah, yeah that's familiar. What games of Morrowind or Thief? So, regardless of where <laughs> I've still art from. <laughs> He's all are in the dark. So talk me through how the first day goes, then, because we're montaging a bit of this. Hopefully northish, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess we'd just be following this big hunk of city and then steel to where the hell we're meant to go. Mm -hmm. uh, you, yeah. yeah. Saying that, but still, how did you know or the dark? Did he, can he? Did they make you? Oh. Mm. Uh, he's going to sort of climb up a bit and he'll say, you know, not, I don't think it will reveal much right now, but he'll say, uh, he knew things that uh, I knew no one else could teach me. Hmm. He's he's a he's a strange one. Yeah, he definitely was. As yeah. <laughs> he's still alive, can't he? By the way, don't worry. He, he didn't just explode or die or anything. Uh, or a deck is still around. But yeah. <laughs> anything else that comes up in like conversation, or is there any more like does reach push any more into that particular angle of conversation? Yeah, because I can see you. there's not much more at the moment anyway, so not am okay at the moment. Uh, I think I would feel a bit of responsibility for this group of people, and mm -hmm. because, you know, they're, they're my connection to Celeste, I would probably just incrementally, in, in paranoia, like, check them for fevers, and <laughs> generally attempt to gauge their health. Yeah. Like You're basically duck. Baymax. <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Are you satisfied with your care? <laughs> uh, yeah, do you want to go roll medicine then on the, the group oh for God, like day one? discover like an autoimmune disease in Crumba or something. <laughs> it's never uh, lupus, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, well, Crumba <laughs> well, actually has... Da, 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 da. Is it you? Why not click the button on your character sheet? I oh, know, sorry about that. Habit. <laughs> I have that. It's okay. I'm going to wait till you click the button on your character sheet. We'll break the habit. <laughs> okay. Yep. Free roll. There you go. Did that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it's a much better. I'll take it. Yeah. Um... X-ray eyes. <laughs> Hella tumors. Right. So. X-ray eyes might give us tumors, but yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I don't know if you like you want to go for that. That's pretty bad. Like uh, <laughs> X-ray eyes. Um, but yeah, so no, I don't think Andy's got anything. Like, remind me, gang. None of you have anything underlying medical, do you? I think these are all pretty decent. Don't have anything underlying, no. <laughs> We're all pretty healthy. No underlying health issues here. Yeah, no way. Uh, shortness of breath or fever. 
way. You're too good at that. Why do you know? Like, good at being a doctor. I <laughs> 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 just why you keep hearing on these right now. I just don't know health conditions. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, right, I'm going to just say this now, right? You'll learn this very quickly, right? I'm weird and awesome, right? So let's just <laughs> let's just leave me at that, right? How dare you? How dare you try and handle fact, this? I don't think we've, <laughs> don't think we've been hide. in a situation where we've had any lasting effects. No, for the most part, it's all been pretty well, like, yeah, like pretty well Hello, maintained. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. the part where we don't die. Yeah, yeah it's a good part. That. Uh, something you probably do realise though is like when you look over like Crumbar more than the rest, right? So you look over Crumbar and yeah, there's parts of him where he should be showing like more signs of like scar tissue, mm -hmm. uh, but he isn't. It's it's almost like when you know if somebody draws on somebody with pen versus if it's a tattoo, right? Yeah, it's very obviously superficial despite mm -hmm. clearly being part of him like it's some vague understanding of this shouldn't need to be here like the way a scab could be picked off but his scar tissue seems to just be there f almost for show even if he might not be aware of that mm, okay and would I sense any divine presence being a cleric uh, yeah maybe like the, 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 the faintest like the faintest part okay. but then Crumbar does occasionally glow gold right Oh. Bar, okay. all, <laughs> yeah. Like him, like all of his magic, and same with Reach, really, right? Like their magic comes from the Great Gold Worm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like they okay. are, they are like, for lack of a better term, divine magic as well. Um, yeah. So there is definitely like a resonance between the three of you um, <coughs> for that reason, even if yours okay. isn't specifically from like the Great Gold Worm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think that's probably about as much as you. You can get from that that role. Mm -hmm. um, Kitty probably does like seem too perfect. Like doesn't seem as old as she should be, even though she's an elf. Like you don't know a terrible lot about elves except maybe dark elves. But like mm -hmm. as a wood elf, she could have been born yesterday. For as far as oh. you can tell, in terms of like being able to age someday to look, as well. I see. I have reached adulthood. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, I am of legal and then age to gamble. Yeah, I was gonna say the thing is though, something yeah, something Stu's trying to say there, like uh, like you were somewhat significantly and painfully rebuilt. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is true. Yeah, you remember that part where you were like Details anatomically six exploded yeah. and then yeah, put it back when together? You recently Mind that time things. you were a cat. <laughs> I felt <laughs> 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 So that was a thing that did happen to you, in case you forgot. I remember you spent a story point and everything on it. Um, yeah. Yeah. But that's fine. You can have forgot that if you want. Uh, um... <laughs> it was more okay. That would have been like... a hard epic ordeal. You're allowed to forget about it. That's... Yeah. Like valid, right? 100% valid. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. Does that like. That's day one, by the way, Bastiel. So it's mm -hmm. weird from day one, quite frankly. Um, Crumbar, are you likely to want to like be the rear guard on this, or are you up front with? I'm just going to call I'd you most... Oradak, but you're not your best deal. I'd most, I'd most likely be up front. <laughs> okay, cool. Hmm. Up front. Who wants to be yeah. the rear guard then? I'd be rear guard then. Cool. Me. Yeah, cool. And I'll put you two in the middle. There we go. And da, 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 da. Here's a map. Yeah. Nope. Right. <laughs> no. Just in case it comes up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to say it will. It's just in case it does. It yeah. yeah. And if it does, well, it does. And we just have to deal with that. Um, but yeah, so. Day one. Uh, you don't want to bring it up, you said, yeah? Mm -hmm. I could. That's probably for the best. It's weird enough. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, with the... That, I think he's probably like wander in the dark for a bit. Like the places you've got obviously a lot of overhanging cave structure. Um not everything's as open as like the image might let you think. Like you have to end up going through like little kind of um 
like almost tunnels uh, that lead into like other big kind of cave areas that you have to like work out what layer of it you want to start to like work your way through. And for the most part, Bastiel, maybe like based on your kind of the way you would think, maybe you've done like a like a mnemonic where you're thinking, okay, so it's five, then two, then seven, then one. And that's how you count what entrance of the cave you're meant to take. So you go, right, through the fifth one, we'll go through this one. Oh. And then through the second one, and then through the seventh one. Um, yeah. So if you ever lose count, maybe that's going to be bad. As opposed to uh, see, how you navigate uh, underground. Yeah. See how the picture there, it looks like everything's all natural, except for maybe the pathway has been carved out a wee bit. Is that kind of what it's like as well? It's mostly yeah, natural. Like, yeah, see some of the, the more open areas? Um, the more open areas do have parts that have been carved. I... Uh, and whether or not that has just been the fact that that's stuff that hasn't ever caved in, obviously it's like the, the parts that maybe are a bit safer is the slightly more dwarven made looking parts. There is very few of that though. Um, a lot of it just feels like, you know, like a, a, a grassland field and there's obviously the flat part of it because that's where people walked. It's the equivalent of people have just excavated their way through this place um, mm. for like path of least resistance and if over time and with the amount of traffic or damage this place can get, if it's caved in, people have just either tried to dig it out or found a new route to circumvent it. So yeah. it is a mess, and it's why you can't buy a map of the like the Undermarch because it, it's not unlikely to be accurate, depending on what happens. Plus, if you ever could buy a, like a map of it, you'd be able to like ambush traders and stuff as well. So mm. it's not something dwarves are eager to let out. Is the information of how to navigate this place. Um, mm. If they have a secret way of like talking to the stone to do it, we'll never know. Um, That's cheating. Is it though? I mean, it feels dwarven, right? So, yeah, but it's also like Malot's cheating. But like for well, the most part. Yeah, for the guys that are talking to the stone, we're going to leave them behind. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the suit opens and like a little dwarf jumps out. It's like, <laughs> whew! It's warm in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so day one passes. Uh, use set up camp or use starting a fire or not. I like fire, so I say yes. Because I can't. Oh, ima yeah. I'm imagining it's quite cold in a big yes. scary cave. Yeah, yeah. definite yeah. fire then. Like especially when you stop, it's cold. Very much so. I am, like when you're on the move, it's not so bad. Uh, but yeah, as soon as you stop, it, it all kind of creeps in, and it's it's a wet cold as well, like a damp as well because of the just the scale of the place and the running water that you can kind of hear off from the distance and behind walls and things. Um, Summer stay in Scotland, right? Go yeah, pretty much just a normal <laughs> Scottish market. Yep. Um, but yeah, so you can set up camp after day one. Uh, any conversation at the camp then? Like you've managed to like calm the horses because you're leading them in the dark. Remember, like complete, mm -hmm. like pitch blackness. So, yeah. In fact, Arya, that's the thing. Do you want to give me an oh, animal the handling check? Don't like it then. Oh, what check? Sorry. Yeah. Do you want to give me animal hat? Uh, animal handling, and then we'll see how sure. well you manage to like keep them going. Yeah, I think that's reasonable to keep them fairly calm and on the path and yeah. such, and have a wee caravan I mean of them when they go in the middle. Uh, still keep an eye on anything at the back, make sure nothing the wanders off. Of, of, of light, I can always have my produce flame, like in my hand, every so often. Okay, well, if you, not gonna last if you do that, right, so let's say during day one then, you did at some point use produce flame to cast some light around you. Remember, your bow also acts as that, right? It um, just depends how much you want to go uh, into holding yeah, a I giant flame near a horse. Um, well, I, I will, no, uh, but I, I would. Go on. I would like to think that I'm like holding the flame in one hand, you know, kind of like stressed. And the produced flame won't me. like won't and be a big stress thing because you can definitely hold it either way. It was just if you were gonna use your bow, that's a lot harder to keep them calm with. Because that's a no, lot no, more no. violent. <laughs> could, no, could no. I... Basically, what I was planning to do it just was just like you know, have it in one hand and then with the other hand I'm like kind of like. Yeah, that's what we said, the leading along, the horses. The, the, the horse is like kind of behind me, mm -hmm. and my hand with the flame is kind of like in front of me, like outstretched, and I won't make it a massive flame. I'll just make it quite a tiny flame in my hand, so it's not going to be that big, I think. 
Yeah, that's what I said. Like, produce flame is not an issue for the horses because I could totally see you body clocking that, but at the same time, that was the question about the bow I cared about because that's a oh, much no. bigger and no, an no, angrier only... flame. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, so. Murderous flame. Yeah, at some point during <sighs> that, then you'll spark up your hand, right? And your, your flame will appear, <laughs> and then I imagine Bastiel has something to say. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to interfere with the production of flames being <laughs> a product of the forge. I feel at home here. But, uh, uh, being that I don't sleep, I'll activate sentry. I'll, first of all, I'll activate the drift globe. Okay, in my yeah. back. Yep. And you see a tiny ball of uh, illuminated glass start to uh, orbit uh, Bastille's head as he enters Sentry's rest and kind of deactivates but his head is on a swivel, like a constant swivel. Because um, you got to do that instead of sleeping as a Warforged. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep. Yeah, you become a sentry turret. Do you say anything before you do this, or do you just do that? No, I'm trying to escape small talk so they don't ask me about my origin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, whatever they else then. Anybody else say? Because Crumber obviously like starts a fire. I am... Um, there can be obviously enough stuff you brought with you with your like flint and tinder kit and whatnot and I don't know, various flammable fungi, why not? Um I are But yeah, you Hello. Can get a wee fire on the go. Yeah. Oh but, yeah, or an yeah. No, but you making a fire isn't the same as having something to burn. There's a difference because you'll need to sleep at some point. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Fuel, air, heat. Yep. Our triangles, folks. Our triangles. Um but yeah, so what about Kitty? What is she up to? She's just generally taking in what she can. Because mm. obviously we can't really see anything, but... I mean, you like can for is... 60 feet, yeah. <laughs> for 60 feet into the distance, you can see more distance, I guess, and more cave, yeah. I feel like I'd be putting my arms out, trying to, like feel if there's a wall nearby well those 60 feet that's actually quite a bit of yeah it's significant yeah like keep in mind on the like the battle map the square next to you is the five foot range so yeah 60 is decent um that is actually really decent. like i think it's further than your crossbow reaches <laughs> would be going would blah, 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 i can do words would mm -hmm. we be going along things like that where there's you know bridges made out of the stone the yeah so there's like proper drops like cavernous style drops and whatnot as well yeah like it's a you know the way Minds of Mario is super carved out and super like well you know mm. like fashioned this is not that at all this is like <laughs> this is like you this know, is not that this is maybe like <laughs> this is the <laughs> like day two of them starting the build of Moria right where they're starting to like go right we'll have a we'll have a path down this way and we'll, we'll build up that way and then two tunnels collapse on you, and you go right cool we'll build a different way now this oh. is but like the dwarves seem to like it this way um there are also some rumors that dwarves collapse the tunnels themselves deliberately because mm. they cycle oh. motherfuckers mm. <laughs> or they've just got really good mapping technology and decide you know that nobody else has it and they can just you know, mess with people. So, yeah. Crazy motherfuckers. Now, your guide has shut down and became a giant light for something like, was it 60 feet or whatever? I can't remember how big the drift globe light is. Uh, uh, I think it's just, it's uh, it's the daylight spell. Uh, no, it can be the daylight spell, but it's the light spell, I think, first, is it not? Oh, either way, I'll do just a dim light and I can, I can use it from 60 feet away. But the light's radius isn't a 60 foot orb. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, if, like the daylight one has like a lot more limitations on that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Two seconds, I need to go fix a USB cable. <laughs> oh no. That's okay, right, it's just my keyboard's right. decided to uh, be unplugged by me earlier. Well, that was silly. It just decided, like, yeah, I'm going to get unplugged now. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to get that guy. Uh, and it was definitely actually my fault, so that's fine. <laughs> it's just me unplugging stuff like I thought I didn't need, but I did need it because, yeah, it's your boy. Wrong. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now we're cooking the gas and USBs. Okay. 
I'm back. Weirdly, I didn't need my keyboard for that length of time. And that's been since we started part two. That's mad. Um, okay, drift globe, 5e. I'll bring up those rules. But yeah, MD have an issue with the fact that your guide just stopped moving and starts glowing. I was thinking, turn around the crumber. Can you do that? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I just swing a fist at Breach. <laughs> it's, it's like parts of the fungus that he's trying to set in fire. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I'm just gonna torture him psychologically. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it seems like reach. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Laugh, but no, I will murder you in your sleep, and you will become part of my axe, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yeah. So, do you use set up a watch order then, like OG gang, or do you use Trust in your brand new walking man. I, I trust. He, he took an axe to the face. I trust him. <laughs> Come on, at the moment, I'm thinking that's him taking first watch, and I would just go to sleep. But yeah, that's, yeah. Cause I don't know how long it's going to last for. So yeah, but no. Yep. So with everything else, so like Reach decides to like settle in for the night. Crumbar partly also does. A uh, what about Arya and Kitlith? Oh, sorry, you can have secured the horses with like your animal handling and stuff and have them all squared away. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I was going to say I would be thinking of, and after that I would just crash. Yeah, so Kitlith, you're probably the last one awake, looking around in this like partially illuminated like cavern like expanse. The horses are like a wee bit restless, but you know... Some of them are starting to settle down. Your entire party have like decided to go to sleep, and this new person is just standing with their head swiveling and a, a light orbiting their head. So it's not like he's a, a subtle camping group. <laughs> uh, I'd probably not settle down as such, but like maybe be on watch as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like maybe take like joint first watch, as it were. Mm. Yeah. I. Do you and also I Bastiel want to give me some perception checks, please? Yeah, I just realized we've not actually discussed in character what he does and what he doesn't, so No. <laughs> that's quite weird that we would just crash. Oh, why have I got brain? It's advantage. fine, we'll take the twelve, it's fine. You wish you had advantage. <laughs> no, I wish I did now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Yeah. So you like you see things like maybe you hear them first, like scattering away in like the, the darkness. Like both of you can hear this. Um it sounds too far off to really like shake you, Bastiel. Like it's nothing mm. that's worrying. It's almost like, you know, cave things wandering off in the distance. Um but nothing that you would particularly worry about. It's stuff that you maybe have heard as you were like walking through the place throughout, you know, your quote day one. Um mm -hmm. As for um, UK, yeah, like you can definitely like see things moving just mm. beyond vision, but you're not sure if that's like the light messing with your night vision, right? Um, yeah. That kind of weird swirly smoky vision that you sometimes get when your eyes are trying to adjust between light levels. And you, um, yeah, like the scuttering, like maybe it's like behind you, and then when you're like looking that way, then you hear it from like, you know, the other side of you. It's a wee bit unnerving. Mm -hmm. A bit, um, but again, it just depends on how kind of skittish Kitty is at the moment. I wouldn't say very. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've kind of dealt with worse. This is very true. Yeah, I I'd just kind of say that I'm more prepared than anything. Yeah, because you've been through some shit, quite frankly, right? Yeah. Um, you've been to the abyss, and that's mm -hmm. a big deal. And you came back, which. Not many people can see. Um, such as Gil. Remember him? No. <laughs> yeah, um, Gil. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I think, mm -hmm. um, does MD, like, naturally wake up during their, like, their rest period to feel like they were taking over watch? Because if they don't, I think Kitty just falls asleep eventually, right? Nah, Crumbar's yeah. out for the king. Yeah, and I think, yeah, like, day one kind of comes to a close. As far as yeah. you can tell, like, I guess maybe are you? You can maybe wake up first properly at the sound of horses making noise, or are you just pecking at yeah. the side of your head? 
I like feeding. Where's the seeds bit? <laughs> <laughs> the horse has got names. Uh, Ruya is the bird. She has the hawk. I have a hawk. Uh, oh, the, ho right. the horses the actually do have names. Uh, I think one of them is called Horse. Um, <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I can talk to them and find out their names if you're that curious. If you are. <laughs> I just feel like you named them though as well. Um, John Bon Pony. John Bon Pony was one of them. Yep, that's true. Yep, completely serious in in universe terms. Yep, totally. Um, but yeah, so I guess he's all just like wake up next day. Uh, you'll need to start consuming rations unless people are brave enough to try fungus. Nope. Oh, no fungus, please. Yeah. Uh, Consume yeah. rations. Also have um, I I can also use good berry, and uh, give everybody a good berry. That is a first level spell, just for full clarification for everyone. I know. Yeah. I'll so what? What's good berry do? It's a full day's ration. I think we still need yeah. to drink, but. Oh, yeah. nice. No, it says Sounds nourishment, good. and I'm I'm totally okay with it covering the water requirement personally because it says nourishment. Right, it's more yeah. general. Right, like to me, as a player, I would argue that with a GM. So yeah, as yeah. a GM, I'm okay with that as well because yeah. to me, the implication is this keeps you alive. So if it didn't include water, and it's a berry, right? Yeah, it's sustenance. <laughs> it's quite liquidy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, that that counts, right? That's valid. Um, cool. But so you still have a barrel full of water, right? And loads of water. I was just going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got water. Yeah. yeah. You shouldn't die in a cave due to food or water loss. Uh, yeah. Plenty of other things will kill us. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's not a safe place to travel, but it is obviously that's, quite that's commonly exactly, travelled. That's exactly what I would want to hear from a GM. Yeah. That you're allowed to use one spell to keep you alive. For food and water. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. No, and we're probably still gonna die. I never said you were probably still gonna die. I'm saying you still probably could die. There's a very big difference in that, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> like hope. Hope's the difference in that. Right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so day two, uh, traveling, montaging, anything coming up on day two that is worthy of note? Everyday mark off food that you are consuming, obviously. Um, I've, I've got oh. 10 of those things, and if they're used within 24 hours, then I can give the other five cool. to the guys. Cool. By right? that, then I need you to mark off spell slots. Yeah. So it's a first level spell slot. Yeah. Mark yep. So we don't. No, no. What I'm saying is, I get ten good berries. Yes, right? but it's a it's and a first level spell slot, so mark it off if you're using it or don't. But don't you no, get no, it back when you sleep anyway? Have, if she gets I'll to sleep. I'll have five. Oh. Yeah. Leftover for the next day if I've used it one day. There's I think they wear off. Them. No, the, yeah, but they need it's to about... be consumed within 24 hours. So. Mm, well, okay. Paste the spell. That's the easiest way to settle that. Paste the spell and yeah. the text will answer one your sec. questions. One sec, one sec. Actually, I'm just going to put that way because yeah. I That's perfect. the first day any day. So, where are we here? Blah 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 blah. The berries lose their potency if they've not been consumed within 24 hours of casting the spell. Yeah, yeah. so for one, I'll have, had, mm -hmm. had five, then we can have. But the horses, five, what are you yeah. feeding them? Yeah. And oh, shit. And okay, gotcha. I forgot about the horses. Okay. Okay, so I would. It, it would feed the horses, and mm -hmm. I would use one ration for Rhea. Gotcha. Uh, no, because, like. Count how many people there are, right? There, like you've got. I don't know five of us. But four of you eat. Mhm. Mm huh? Uh, Bastille, don't eat. No. He did say uh -huh. that. He's like dwarven maids. Yeah. Don't eat. Don't yeah. sleep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So. Okay. He doesn't need to eat. Yep. And there's um, only so four of you guys. As well, so and Ruya okay. plus is five plus four horses. Yeah, these are good. You got one spare. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Just chuck a crumb bar as Yeah, I'll probably <laughs> eat it anyway. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, there, there it is there in the chat for you. It's um, so... really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, as I said, Wait, Oradak... you don't need to eat, drink, or breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oradak gave you the best guide you could possibly have to get through here. Nice. <laughs> yeah. See? What a legend. Um, <laughs> 
But yeah, so yeah, like day two carries on. What happens in day two? Talk me through it. Like, is there any like, oh god, I nearly fell down this ravine because of my footing because I was playing on my Game Boy? Like, you t- talk to me. <laughs> I think I would be talking, like, be trying to talk to. Don't um, tell me. Play it out. Okay, well, I nearly fell off the ravine because I was too busy playing the new Animal Crossing game that came out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, I highly believe that. But, um, I was gonna say shots yeah. fired, but it's more like I sunk her battleship at that point. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, um, as I'll be still up front with um, our newly acquainted robot friend. It's in the chat. It's literally in our chat. Bastille. <laughs> yeah. No, I was just thinking of something funny to call him. Um, <laughs> And be like, well, now the formal greetings are over anyway. Mm. How did you meet Celeste? Uh, she came to me. Uh, I was in a bit of a pickle, you could say. And she showed me her light. I just spit at the ground and go, oh, I hate pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Classic crumb <laughs> She told me a lot about you, you know. What did she say? Eats, so drinks, and passes a lot. Just <laughs> 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 just... uh, uh, da, da, da. Well, she told me of your heroic deeds and your your brash nature, and uh, I, I kind of saw myself in you. Hmm. Uh, Thank you for all accepting Crumbar, the brave. I just kind of scoff at that. And and I'll go, well, anyone that can take an axe to the head like that has got my vote. And there's no need to call me the brave. There's nothing (laughs) good. That's the spirit. But you said Celeste came to you. Hmm. I'm under them. We were under in the understanding that Celeste couldn't come to this realm. In a dream, I was, uh, as I'm sure you witnessed last night, I was in stasis for a while, a mm-hmm. short time. I just and... look at him funny and just that kind of cut you off and go, "You can dream." <laughs> Whatever's inside me, sure can. And I go, "Oh shit!" What did you say? Uh, okay. Yeah, lovely yeah. weather we're having. Change the topic. <laughs> yeah, very swiftly. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, and what impelled you to help us then? Uh, it was Celeste's one and only request. Uh, she knew what I wanted out of life, and she offered it to me. I helped you. So you've not got what you wanted yet? No. But your mm. happiness will do, Crumbar. I'll take that any day. <laughs> um, I have a new ship for this game, guys. I'm not going to lie. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> a new ship? <laughs> like a boat? Yeah. Crumtail. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I... yeah, is anybody else listening into the conversation because you're obviously walking to... along um, yeah. it's probably not particularly quiet so yeah I'll say to him anyway like well anyone else is thinking of and what is it you want from and I just kind of look at him again and just because I'm like I'm not sure I'm using the correct terminology and it's like, so what is it you want from life Mm. I want to be reforged in a manner of speaking I am not complete and there's something I need I just, I just go like that I thought dwarves were meant to be the best ugh <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Um, I mean, what else? Uh, I think... No, no, no. Uh, okay. Basically, I think I would start to worry about the f- fun guy. And I, hey, I might I'm attempt... the fun guy. <laughs> the <laughs> fun guy we need. I'm just kicking yeah. Scott from the game now, I'm sorry. That's terrible. Uh, <laughs> bye, Scott. <laughs> to the shame cube I go! <laughs> No, actually, no. Fuck the fun guy. I think, we uh, if if the, you said there were rumours about like dwarves collapsing their own tunnels and stuff, mm-hmm, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. I think if I'd been studying for so long and I'd heard these rumours, I'd probably attempt to look for some signs of that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll, I guess, structural engineering. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what? Sorry, structural forensics it would be. <laughs> Which I think is just a... Uh, let's face it, it's the math skill and it's probably arcana or it's investigate probably. Probably investigate. Fuck. Yeah. Can you do it with advan- advantage if I'm there? Nah, because you don't, you don't know anything about this place, mate. It's just, I like it. And the walls! I feel like we it's rolled like on what you know it. about this place. Remember you got the seven? Remember? I remember. I was drunk then. <laughs> Scott's still drunk now. Like. <laughs> when is he not? Oh, valid. Um, FYI, anyone listening, I don't have a drinking problem, honest. No, he's got plenty of alcohol. <laughs> he's got plenty. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Damn straight and word, Sophie. David, I'm ready. What was that, Sophie? He said yeah, you're Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right I am. <laughs> and I'll drink you under the table, woman. <laughs> wow, I guess we'll ju- this will just be the the explicitly labelled episode then. Um, trigger warnings like, all around people. Don't listen if you're a part of the following groups. Yes. Anyone. <laughs> I'll just put on. I'll just put on the description. Don't. But yeah, like I uh, no. I don't think there's even remotely anything you can like see within range either at the part of the kind of like undermarch that you're at just now, Bastiel. You're looking around, but maybe those thoughts are coming to mind like, hmm, I guess I'll just distract myself from this questioning I don't want to go into by looking for signs of a uh, dwarven interference. <laughs> uh, lifting rocks and looking for dwarfs underneath them. <laughs> I think as well, like, see as he cannot just kind of snaps into i don't know investigate mode yeah hmm. i'll just be like looking at him and just been like dwarf technology <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like like to me like you've probably not even realized that you've just cut out of the conversation and just <laughs> yeah. stow it away i'm like maybe that's what he's not complete they met they didn't finish off his brain <laughs> i don't know fucking are you the tin man <laughs> Big minus one charisma. Yep. <laughs> Do you actually have minus one charisma? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that plays right in par, so. And somehow, oh. Crumbar is a charisma primary. Yep. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> um, I, I'm a very charming slash threatening person. Yeah. You're, you're, you're very charisma. And, um... Yeah, I don't think much else happens in day two unless somebody else wants to have another scene on day two. Most qualified to be a diplomat and the last person we choose to be a diplomat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if you take last session for instance, he worked. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just he doesn't really quite remember what he gave up, right? <laughs> um as I say, he knows he gave up a song that he can't quite remember. But um But yeah, like does Reach or Kitty or Arya like discuss Anything on the way, or pester the two of them up front? I'll, I'll, I'll probably like, kind of, like pull maybe Kitty to the side and be like, you know, he was sent by Celeste, so I trust him. But what do we actually know about him? <laughs> well, I don't know anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jon Snow. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what you Yeah, I keep going out of references. Um, uh, I've, yeah, I've got to change my name now. Um, I feel like 
I would have been trying to listen in while not making mm. it obvious. Okay. Like maybe I would have been seeing if I could still get to my bird in its little dimensional portal, like unzipping that, poking its head out, like, all oh, right, you're there, all right, shove it back in. <laughs> yep. um, and then like uh, everyday oh, casual really stances, yep. to one side. yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, maybe you're checking on the bird in the portal, and then obviously that's when Arya goes to pull you. And it's just like you zipping up, like, Rawr! as you're like what? sailing it away back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so, yeah, like, what what does that scene look like, Arya? You've pulled Kitty to the side a bit closer to the horses, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And just kind of like, you know, getting my, 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 like, essentially my face quite close to her ear and kind of like almost whispering, because I wouldn't really, like, know how well they can hear up front but um also kind of like has up like you can kind of see it on her face that she doesn't really know what to think because mm -hmm. you know he says celeste so suddenly she trusts him but then again celeste didn't quite show up when we probably could have needed her and some guidance from her or anything so she's she's a bit confused overall Mm -hmm. But yeah. So, what does the scene look like then? How do you like? How does that translate? Like, um, like so literally it's... just like hanging back a little bit and kind of making Kitty slow down as well with her putting a little bit, like, not a lot, of of distance between the the guys, and she's just looking a bit like kind of like lost in trying to because because she always found kitty to be somebody that kind of like just randomly does stuff well not randomly but like doesn't seem to like have this sort of analysis paralysis and that's probably why she'd be like naked less you know kind of like what should i think about this but yeah um so that's kind of why she would be asking for Kitlet's opinion on this, because she doesn't really know what to think. Okay, well. so you say hey Kitlet, right? And then obviously you pull her to the side, right? And yeah. What do you say? Exactly what we were saying earlier, kind of like. But in character, you know, do it in character. <laughs> but but I did, and she replied. And, um, <laughs> you reference joke. Okay. Oh, oh. Like, that wouldn't have been in character. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, this is this is what she means. Like, Kitlith comes out with some really weird stuff. Like, it's very beyond her times. <laughs> <laughs> it's very pop culture reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she would have like pulled me from one side when I was sort of in the middle of checking something while also simultaneously trying to listen in, and it would have taken me aback a bit because I wasn't expecting to be touched. So it'd be like, "Yo, what the hell are you doing? Okay, it's you. Okay, what?" <laughs> yeah, so, what, my... so I'll be like, so, what do you think of him? I mean, I know he knows Celeste, so, does that mean we should fully trust him? What's going on? And then, um, he gets recommended by that weird guy that, that, that didn't really want to help us to begin with, and, oh, what do you think? Well, I think is our best option right now to get through this, so... Just keep an eye on him, really. That's all we can do. Yeah. I think I'll have caught up by them by now and say, and again, modern culture, I think Commander Day are up there. I can probably hear you. <laughs> Shut up, like, I don't feel like I'd be too bothered. <laughs> like, I don't, I wouldn't. <laughs> I like nature stuff, and I understand nature stuff, and he's not nature stuff, so mm. Arya's confused. <laughs> He's given us no reason to distrust him so far, but, you know, he's not nature stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not natural as such to us, so we're all about, like, the woods and the earth and rock and stone, not this thing. Which again, it's valid, right? I almost feel like we're being mean, sorry. <laughs> we're being very judgmental, but... He has technically come from the Earth, if he's been made yeah. by the dwarves, so it's like... Yeah, I guess. You're a machinist. <laughs> good movie. Very good movie. Yeah. 
I'm David from uh, Prometheus. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so Deb's on just being Charlie's Theron for that amazing scene where she just goes, Bleh, and just like <laughs> runs her hand down your face for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> stupid, <laughs> stupid movie. Anyway, um, back in this game, uh, yeah, so like, what's the like the conclusion to that little kind of exchange of like mild distrust? She just like shakes her head and she's like, well, I guess time will tell. Mm. Sort of shrug, keep walking. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. Nothing to be overly bothered about right now since he's not actually attacking us, so it's like just go with it. Yeah. Can Kitty roll perception? So the dice actually says ten. Oh yeah, that's because I've got a six. Never mind. Okay. Yep. Uh, it's because I'm going to turn off that dice thing. <laughs> that's horrible. The dice are horrible. Um, the a familiar feeling washes over you, like a shudder, in a way. Mm. And only you in the party would ever be able to have made this roll. Can you guess why? Is it because there's a wood elf ahead? Uh, you're, not, you're not far off. Oh, is it a dark elf? Dun 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 dun. Are they behind us? <laughs> warning, uh, warning. Oh, bring it the fuck on, bro. My horse thing. Oh, shit. Wow. <sighs> Horses are massive. What are all of those? Oh, that's all. Yeah, so, horses oh, yeah, yeah. are like nine times the size of people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a lie. Well, like but... you know, like you know the size of Trojan horses. That's what the size of these ones are. <laughs> it's got loads of little dwarfs inside. <laughs> One each leg. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say four dwarfs to each horse. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you end up surrounded by these guys. Um, two as I said, like. <laughs> yes, mm. two of them. So we know Crumbar failed his perception check. Yeah. I can see two. I can see Scroll. one there and one there. And what about... The ones that are right next to you. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are also things. Yeah. Uh, so does everybody want to wanna roll initiative? For me, once no, I make sure I've... Do the horses roll initiative? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh dear. Click your token. Do it properly. 20. Oh. oh man, I seen your roll first, Kitty, instead of mine, and I was like, yeah, I rolled oh, right. well. And I'm like, oh no, I rolled terribly. Token. Which one is my token? Uh, your token oh, is my... there. Yep. Oh, okay. Beside me. So I'm guessing, yeah. going by how we're laid so, out, there's the. We've. Uh, we've... Token. Right. So I'm guessing we've came from like best. this direction. Oh, and we then... could have come from that oh, direction, and it could have <coughs> crumbled behind us. Oh. There's a big river there, so we could have had a bridge. Look, there's like this crumbled bit. Yeah. So just just to answer the question, yeah, you definitely came from that way. Um, just for Crumbar's question, just to make it a bit easier, and you were you were kind of heading down this way, or at least you hope you were. Uh, whether or not you were heading down this way to like maybe then like go up there, so you don't know only a uh, bestial knows that um, mm. I am oh, missing God. two people's initiative you're missing yeah. the, uh, the option token. for initiative is not coming up you yeah, click your token first and you yeah, it's not. icons coming around top left right token. Yeah, and then click initiative on your page so you rolled it right, you just didn't have not clicked your token first of all, that's all Oh, okay. Yep. So, which is oh, look at that. Same as me. Uh -oh. <laughs> romantic. Hello, romantic. That's it, bro. Two bros chilling in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, do I miss Brian? And then, uh, let me just roll the rest. And we'll add Where's everything. Arya? 23. No. Arya's not there yet, is she? Nope. Uh, Oh, yeah. You know how to roll initiative. Come on. Is she with us? 
click your token and click initiative, are you? I did it! I did both of those things! We don't see uh, in the list. computer says no. <laughs> That's so weird! It's okay, let me just lag. The internet has been crazy. So I can see it, but did it work this time? Yeah, it did. It's a much better role. Oh, well. nice! Yeah, much I better role. I did the exact same thing as previously. That's good. Can I still shout out and say something even though I'm way down the list? Uh, no, because we fade to black. Yeah, alright. You Fair penis, enough. Ryan. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we need to do another half hour or so, but yeah. <laughs> no, because we've got Friday, remember? Right. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still Meta gaming, Arya, you keep the horses together because you rolled for the horses, right? <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit worried about the horses, are you? <laughs> That's the wee bit. That's bit yeah. No, it'll be fine, right? How how could four large creatures with the power of horses cause any problem full of your stuff, like a barrel? Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't want to get kicked by a horse. Yeah. Also, just from a rules thing, they count as cover. Do they actually? Whoa. Yeah, because they're larger oh. than you. Oh, do they get a tax opportunity? Uh, they're horses. They, they get shredded. whatever they want. <laughs> what? They're horses. Yeah, okay, for, they're horses, they get whatever they want. Done. Uh, I mean, yeah, because we all know how it works, Crumbar. Like, the horses all, like, they take so much beating, they get pissed off, obviously. Uh, and then you know what happens, don't you? They get turned into glue. Yeah, they yeah. shit and piss everywhere. Curried horse. <laughs> <laughs> they run away. They no. run away. Yeah. No, no. Like there's something like, way more obvious that these are all missing, but it's fair enough because it's complete and utter madness and not obvious at all. They all what? fuse <laughs> Voltron style into Benjamin. Yay, Benjamin! Oh. Yay! <laughs> <An idiot>. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy. Benjamin. Uh, you Remember have... Sean when I messaged you and I said, uh, "Yeah, the guy, one of the guys, definitely wants you to join, and he wants you to play Benjamin." This is Benjamin. <laughs> Invisible Yay. dinosaur. Oh, and guess who was the one that wanted you to play Benjamin? You know, three guesses. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you are a child. Oh my god. So, <laughs> Only in my so, girl, so to pull the game back to oh. me, what would you like to call the session? Uh, sad horses and bestiality. Oh god, no. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm 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 gonna just type this one because I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to say it on recording because you're a monster. Is oh. that why? <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Oh god, indeed. <laughs> uh, I mean, no. uh, <laughs> see, to be I'm fair, sorry. right? See, see, in my sci-fi game on Mondays, we called their car maintenance place car hole because they couldn't think of something to call their business. So, I mean, <laughs> it's valid, right? <laughs> Uh, right, things I'm going to suggest um, underway <coughs> in the under March. There you go. What else you got? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it may be short-lived, depending on how this combat goes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Crumbar's writing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Always dangerous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please stand by. The ship that up. sailed. Yeah, I like it. Faster <laughs> sails than you Uh. <laughs> oh, yes. Fuck you. <laughs> Celeste, I like it. I like that, yeah. I dance with dragons. Okay, so we're doing well at the voting for everything equally thing. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm just gonna vote for mines twice and see what else wins. Come on, guys, go for it. <laughs> I say twice. Oh, so that is a like, it's a novel, Stu. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
<laughs> a bunch of dragons. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, a pox on you, Shan. A pox on you. <laughs> oh my god. Re! <laughs> <laughs> that's actually quite good, though, but that's the problem. Isn't it? I mean, we'll wait and see how oh. fucked the horses get in this combat, right? And then we'll maybe go there. <laughs> uh, yeah, indeed. Uh, well, I'm rebranding the channel, guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> right. Well, we've got a title that worked, <laughs> and it's a uh, underway in the undermarch. And since that is not yep. up against bestiality, um, <laughs> right? Uh, goals. Let us review such things. Um, get words to GGW about Gil. So my new, my new way I want to review goals is: Do you still see progress you can make in the goal? I, I'm not really because I've sent the letter to that one. So, but then that's just you waiting on the great gold worm saying, "Hey, dude, I got your letter, right?" So, mm. it's not so much that there isn't progress to make; it's just you're waiting on mm. the return. So, this is what I want to do about the the wrap up side of the gold chat now is to talk about the um, likelihood or the sustainability of a goal. Um, so, what's everybody's <coughs> thoughts about that then? What we're we thinking? Because keep in mind, it can be slotted to the side. If need be, um, I think it's been around long enough that I wouldn't just chaff you guys if it got completed on a session you didn't have it slotted. Given that it's a uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't forever. mind un I wouldn't mind unslotting it and adding in one about Arias Bow. I mean, there's maybe one about uh, actually trying to see if there's another way to contact the Great Gold Worm is maybe a better goal if you want to keep it within the same vein because you have had. I mean, just remember when that was even made, that goal. Like that was like the one of the first goals when we changed to this. Yeah. Like. So, yeah, it's been around for a while, quite frankly. Um. So yeah, like, it's up to you if you want to like slot it to the side and like morph it into something you think is maybe like a follow up version of that goal. Yeah. We do need to change it, but yeah, I think we're going to need to think about it. I'm afraid, though. But Unless MDL has got ideas about it, moment, yeah. yeah. MDL has got ideas of how that could be like brought into the modern day. <laughs> not really, not until, not even if we get into the place with the king. Mm -hmm. This is where we get there, and like GGW has just been hanging with the king this whole time, drinking. <laughs> just absolutely smashed, jugs everywhere. Yep. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> A better one. Oh dear, that'd be funny. Just a frat party <laughs> style. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it could be like seek, um, seek out another way to communicate with the Great Gold Worm. Like it could be something like that or mm. whatever. It's really up to you guys. Because I know that Reach started praying a while ago, um, many weeks ago, in fact. Uh, but yeah, that's. I'll leave you with that thought then on that one. Uh, figure out how to close hell holes as a team safely. Do we still think we can make progress on that? Still pursuable? Yeah. Safely. Yeah. <laughs> Don't focus too much on that word, because nobody else will. Yeah. I wouldn't. Because to be honest, the princess couldn't do it safely. She turned into a demon. That's... Yes. <laughs> so oh, she's, right, uh, right. That explains not... that. The second most powerful mage in the world, probably. Yeah, but... Probably, yeah. One of. A handful of others. It's an elite team. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's she's maybe like fifth in the world, to be honest. Give or take. Didn't notice it was a leaderboard, but there is. <laughs> okay, it's quite Wizard, like Wizard King's pretty high <laughs> on that list, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's maybe like a joint top tier, to be honest. So it's one line, and then maybe she's underneath the four names. Um, but yeah, so what's the thoughts on that one? Because I don't think it's a bad goal to still have. It's just. At no point have you ever done anything to achieve it except ask just Doria to teach you how to do it. And she went, no. She's like, I think her exact words were, I wouldn't wish that upon you. It wasn't just, no. It was, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, m m maybe, maybe later, maybe when you're level 20. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, and then obviously you witness why, because it's clearly messing with her quite a bit. Like, how many days did she spend Jekyll and Hyde up in her palace, right? In the first time? So, yeah, not ideal. Um, but yeah, what's the thoughts on that one then? So figure out how to close hell holes as a team safely. I, is there a way you want to try and pursue that? Is it like seek someone else's help to close it, them out? Or is it 
Because at any point, you could have asked Ordak, right? He's a magic dude. Mm. But, like, I this mean, is what I mean. Not... It's a goal you have slotted, but at no point do I ever see you chasing it. Crap, that's a good point. You could have probably mm. asked Ordak. Damn it. Yeah, but it's oh, just... Use... But, uh, yeah, we couldn't have afforded it. But, yeah. <laughs> it just depends <laughs> what you're willing to give up, right? He's, he's all about trade. Um, yeah. Plus, technically, you were, you were offering him knowledge about the Hellholes in the first place, right? Mm. So... Yeah. I mean, we've now got this, like, mechanical man we could offer him, I guess. <laughs> Do you want <laughs> your man back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not property, Crumbar? Fucking hell. Um, yeah, uh, pro of property of Crumbar should have been the session title. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah. But, like, where can I get my name engraved on? <laughs> just again, Jesus use Christ. the axe, I guess. Um, just the cut. Yeah, right. It's horrible. Sign me. Uh... Yeah, so thoughts on that. Does anybody have any ideas? Because we can come back to that as well if we need to, but like, then we end up coming back to all the goals. So, what is the thoughts about goal two? Figure out how to close hell holes as a team safely. I still think it's worth pursuing because it's still a problem in the world, but mm -hmm. yeah. it's um, how you want to start pursuing it. Because um, keep in mind, you just need to like chase up this stuff. Uh, people aren't just going to come out of the woodwork and go, I heard you were talking about hell holes. I'm a hell hole I mean, expert. I Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they offered memories and Ordak was like, I'll get used to Forge. I've already said I would. Done. There you go, Bastiel. A wee job for you. Hmm. You know, breach quarantine. Go for a walk. It's their first one of the day. Um, but yeah, like, uh, any thoughts for what you want to pop in there in the meantime? Hmm. Great quest. While you're thinking about that as well, I've also got Get to Forge Safely. That's obviously underway. I don't yeah. feel like we want yeah. to change that right now. Um, that's me saying as a GM, you might manage that unless you kill yourselves during this game. Mm. <laughs> um, and there's no carryover XP for the new group, sorry. They don't get the gold XP for that. Um, get the Dwarves help to help the Citadel. So obviously if you get there, maybe mention it a few times and get them to commit to something so you can get that goal. Um, that seems something that you still want to pursue, or am I way off on that one as well? That feels right though. You feel like you're there to go. By the way, here's proof of demons. Please help. Is there is there another icon that is that could provide us a solution to sealing the hell holes that we that the party hasn't interacted with yet? Party. GGW, but. Uh, the wizard mm. king, but he's not really talking to as much. Uh, mm. It's not that you still really talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> it was best he stole them. Trust me. <laughs> um, well, you have the list of uh, icons. Um, Let's contact the Prince of Shadows. Bam. There he's gone. <laughs> there they are. Um, right, for, this, for number two, I really want us to try and get Arya to talk to the man in her bowl. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I, I mean, there, there is a man in her bowl. That... Yeah, no, but I mean... thinking it, there still is a man in the bowl, and I don't think there still is a man in the bowl. <laughs> or, well, at I least... think that thing disappeared and, and just became my bow. Well, well, only one way to find out. I mean, <laughs> worth... that is a bow. So start worth shaking it. the bow. Come out! <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, Where like we we spent all that time. They be making like crunchy mm. noises and, mm. and, yeah. and shaking. Yeah, I mean, we, we spent all that time learning Inferno, so we may as well give it a try and see if speaking Inferno to it will work. See if it gives you an answer. And she finds out it's like a Swiss Army bow and different Infernal words. <laughs> like, oh, there's a spoon on this as well. What? Oh my god, that <laughs> would be amazing. <laughs> Oh dear, a grapple hook randomly shoots out and drags her across the cavern and stuff like that, yeah. It's just like, wow. Inspector Gadget sneezing. Um, oh dear. Yeah, spirit level and everything. <laughs> oh. Spirit level is what you did there. <laughs> Thank you. I... Right, well while you're thinking about that, obviously you are still going to get to try and get to Forge safely. That's an underway. You have got to get the dwarves to help the Citadel. That's underway as well, unless you really have bailed on that plan really early. Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously, depart for the Frost Rangers, which again, you can modify and update as we go as well if you have got a, bit, a more secure focus for your goals once you are dealt with the, the Forge part of the game. Mm -hmm. But, mm. yeah, I think that really puts us back to that blank blank slot. Do you have anything? 
because we can leave it to the start of next week, but I'd rather not start a game without a goal slotted. I'd rather he's had everything uh, built in. I'd just be crackle to bow. Do it, do it, do it. There needs to be a goal in there, though. It can't just be do the thing you can do anyway. Talk to the um, animate object in a weird speak, language. <laughs> speak to the bow to find out, or speak... Find out more. Uh, try speaking to your bow to find out if more information about the mistress of the flame. So repeat that to Scott, right? Say Scott, say that to yourself, right? Those words, <laughs> and think about it. All right. Crackly noise bun. Right. So speak to the bow to find out if it knows any more about the mistress of the flame. No, right? right. Find out more information. Find out more about Mistress of the Flame by speaking to Bo. Right. And I'll direct your attention to one of the slotted goals, which Arya used to have. I don't know if she's... Yep, where we go. Investigate who or what the Mistress of the Flame is. Yes, that one. Do that. There we go. See? Helping. So, if you want to put that back in, you can do so. The The goal, talk to the bow, doesn't work because that is not a challenge. That is the how, not the... Yeah, I think I think Arya was still being obviously curious about it, but kind of got sidetracked with other more important things. She's she's thinking about like you know how the fuck are gonna are we gonna be sorting all of this stuff? Like we've got quite a lot of issues happening at once, and she still wants to find their boss. Mm -hmm. And Do you want to switch the colours between goal two and three, so you get the reward for your goal, and we'll allocate Kitty's reward to the get to forge safely? That makes sense to me. Yeah. The colours of goal two and three need to swap, because okay. goal three is assigned to you technically, and really goal two is you. So perfect. perfect. I am not a number. Um. No, I think that's good then. I think that works. That's a, a full set of goals as well. I like it. All right, and obviously we can come back to any other goals that are slotted or whatever. Obviously, guys, have a think about goal one in terms of get word to GW about Gil. See what you can come up with as well. There might be other avenues. Yeah. Um, there might not be, right? It might literally just be a case of, you've got mail. Yeah. yeah. In a week or so of time, we're going to be riding, riding a dragon back down south, so we're going to be getting there pretty quick. And <laughs> on the plus side as well, the longer the goal takes, the more it's worth, because obviously yeah. it's X times level, so... Oh, so may as well have a really really difficult thing just going on in the background no, just it, in case. It just fills up a goal slot, really. Like yeah, yeah. Like really the game is the ongoing thing in the background, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. is us trying to like been break up. Two or three months, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's been there for a while. Long. It just doesn't get mm -hmm. more XP, it's just because you have leveled up in the meantime. But these are how yeah. you level up quicker, because obviously combat isn't as um rewarding as the goals can be. Um, yeah. Or at least now anyway. Uh, as for progression stuff obviously in terms of the wizard king and whatnot like you've got obviously like a list of icons available to you guys at all times you can talk to me or you guys between each other about how you want to progress with stuff like that mm -hmm. uh, and we'll start our roundup chat and i think we will obviously leave shan to last so let us start with kitty it was quite funny like <laughs> sort of trying to be inconspicuous while listening in and then it's it's almost like getting caught out when you get pulled to one side mm -hmm. it's like i haven't done anything what are you on about <laughs> yeah and really so that she can also have a bit of a say as well on this side which is quite funny yeah no i like that too uh, also it was good that you could actually join us that was nice yeah um you got your you got your arson done in the end um some of it <laughs> yeah oh wow yeah anything else you want to add? Uh, no. Yep. I Crumbar, do you want to go next? I like uh, the introduction of the new guy. I thought it was done really well. You're welcome. Um, yeah. Like, really, really liked it. Because I was like, all right, how's he going to enter just a Warforge? And I was like, oh, no, that was, that was done brilliantly. Scott, um, do not oh. take me for a conjurer of cheap tricks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> 
Of course, your tricks are nice and expensive. Yes, thank you. Uh, no. um, nah, I like that. I like the initial banter between me and him and all. And I was uh-huh. just like, ah, X to the face. <laughs> you have been crumbad. Might not work for every um, character we introduced to the game, by the way. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> just actually hey, kill new characters. Hey, at least I didn't do it to Eremos, all right? As much as I... Oh my god. Not yeah. for a lack of trying. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Eremos is a 10 year old kid they kidnapped earlier, by the way, in the game. So, that Saved. stuff. Well, my, my initial plan was to put him in a sack. So. Saved. Took to Can the abyss. Anyway, Possibly yeah. was going to throw into the abyss. Unsure. Yeah. Well, Kenny <laughs> did throw him into the abyss. We just followed him down as well. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Is that what that's got? Um, nah, this is just quite happy with how that all went it seemed to flow really nicely good good uh reach let's do yeah brilliant to have a new character in mm-hmm. uh new player as well uh, <laughs> yes it's, it's not just a character <laughs> yeah. i was gonna say we get new characters all the time every time you guys go yeah. somewhere new <laughs> oh yeah. dear no it's, it's good it's nice to get the ranks back up as well um can look forward to dying tomorrow as well. So probably, yeah, something. you'll you'll probably yeah. go to zero, yeah, at some point, yeah. knowing <laughs> uh, the standard reach protocol. If I drop first, they'll give up on me. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. We'll get to we'll get to Friday. Don't worry. Um, uh, Arya. Well, I was I was very excited about obviously the the idea of being joined. So I was curious how. Well, joined by by mm-hmm. Shanks character, so I was curious like how it will happen. So I really like that that entire bit where it's like you know kind of like revealing the connection with Celeste. So I was like, okay, that's this is gonna be good because we're all, we're either gonna be shocked or we're gonna attack him. So I was very <laughs> like curious because I I just knew Crumbar would attack him. I I just knew it like that was gonna happen. Hey, I kind of expected Reach to try to hold him back. Um. Mm-hmm. And obviously Kitty wasn't, uh, well, was there, but obviously Sophie wasn't. So I was like, I wonder what, what Sophie would have done if she would have had the impulse to, like, you know, stab now and ask questions later as well. <laughs> but I, I, I definitely knew, I was like, oh shit, am I going to have to heal people again when uh, when that started? <laughs> that was, the, that was the, the train of thought. So for me, that was quite funny to try to figure out what was going to happen and how people were going to play. Um their their respective characters and you know from a you know actual player meta gaming point of view holy crap 23 ac <laughs> <laughs> yeah what the hell i thought i don't okay, know baby <laughs> wow so you can take yeah. everything <laughs> yeah i get a bunch I of stuff know. i get blessing of the forge get uh all sorts yeah yeah, like it's a that, very that it's a very tanky really... character. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I like that. I like that. I'll I'll just hide behind you whenever anything happens, and I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. First thing I ever said to Ryan after he told me what classes you guys are playing was, "You don't have a fucking cleric." And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I want to I want to be a cleric." And... To be fair, we did talk a bit about a lot of things that were not even remotely clericy uh, for a while. And then yeah. we did cycle back to Cleric at the end. Um, mm-hmm. And it just seemed to fit for the kind of thematic that you wanted to go for. Um, like the kind of cleric forge angle. Uh, if you haven't, like, if you don't know much about the Cleric of the Forge, uh, it's mm-hmm. such an interesting class. It's in Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Um, oh. It's, um, it is, it is, is disgustingly good. Not to know anything. Cleric. It is a disgusting mm-hmm. race. <laughs> It's a well, no, <laughs> cleric. It's a not a race. It is a class. Uh, Same difference. The Warforged <laughs> is an impressive class. A uh, race. God, I'm getting my own words mixed up now because of Crumbar. Um, <laughs> of course. Not even Scott Crumbar. And uh, Crumbar. Yeah. Uh, do you want to give us your <laughs> your first impressions then from your first session with us? Besides, oh God, what have I got myself into, and can I back out? <laughs> mm, yeah. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Um, I think when you I always play really controversial characters uh, like kind of outsiders, aliens and I think there's there's like a really common pitfall with that where the party just turns on you 
mm-hmm. or you know there's a holy guy and he's like oh he's a, an abomination or whatever people don't take to a tiefling um, mm-hmm. and i think that went as smoothly as it possibly could have i i'm glad i didn't get uh, uh, my ac could tank that and i didn't get battered and then smited because mm-hmm. then i would have looked like an idiot but <laughs> i took the risk i'll keep you yeah. safe through the tunnels smack and broken <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Crumbar is the kind of kid that breaks the rattle first swing. That's the problem. And we <laughs> all know this from every door he's tried to open. So I have no idea what you're on. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it was nice that the, the role of that all actually worked out quite well, that you actually did manage to like block the hit and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. And it was just yeah, nice I'm to really, get like, I'm really happy that it got blocked. It was just yeah, nice to I'm have shocked. the actual like a new person as Stu was saying. It's nice to get a new person in the game. It's nice to again, different perspective, different style of play, different ideas. I'm excited to see how that like changes the party dynamic and how you all settle into the new kind of formation. Obviously if we do get our wonderful travelling naked human sorcerer back at some point. Um, it'll be interesting to see like the dynamic of the six of you because it means I can throw bigger stuff at you guys, which is kind of exciting for me. Um, I 100% guarantee Eric will try and sell you. <laughs> I mean, will he though? Because I feel like that's more of a kitty thing than anything else. Hey, no, no, no. I'm, just, I'm, I'm starting to realize something. <laughs> kitty. Is that the thing she uh, steals stuff to sell it? I think she steals stuff just to possess them. Because yeah. I'm a magpie in disguise. Yeah, you I, are I just admitted hoarder. myself, and I was like, "No, Kitty's a collector, not a seller." Yeah. And then like, yeah. like legit. Yep, hundred percent. I was really? completely expecting to get like dismantled mm-hmm. while I was doing that century's rest. <laughs> Slowly, like chipping away. <laughs> maybe yeah. if they still had Eremos with them, like you did, maybe like drew over your leg and then like tried to like I don't know, like pick it off with like <laughs> no. He, he was a, a curious. You actually totally. <laughs> <laughs> It was a, it was like a curious ten year old kid to be honest, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll see him again. Who knows? Crumbar at least knows where that book is exactly. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Making the power mm-hmm. plays. Yep. Anything else you want to add there, Sean? Uh, no, that's about it. Uh, not much to say that hasn't already been said. It was, yep. a, it was a good um, introduction. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks everyone Thank for playing, and we will pick up next time. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.